are you paying too much for your transport? Hi, this is Rob O'Byrne from Logistics Bureau. I'm going to give you a couple of quick tips on how to reduce your transport costs. Now, I mean, if you're a transport management guru, you'll know this stuff, but maybe you don't. Uh, if you're wondering where we are, we're actually next to the Hume Highway, uh, which is on the way between Melbourne and Sydney. Uh, and for those safety officers watching, you'll notice we're well off the highway and behind the safety barrier. So what are the couple of tips that I want to give you? Um, the first, first of all, and, and this is the reason I stopped on this highway like this, is make sure you're buying the right transport service. So you see all these big trucks going up and down the highway, so there's, there's a semi-trailer that's gone past. If you're, if you're watching this and you're not used to Australian transport, uh, watch out for the ones that have two trailers. Uh, they're called B-doubles. Uh, so you may see one coming past while we're traveling. And they have something like a 60 ton capacity. Um, so why have we stopped here? All of this freight moving between the capital cities in Australia, Melbourne to Sydney, Sydney to Brisbane and so on, can go on a couple of different um, types of road transport service and two specifically are express transport and general transport. Uh, so if you're buying a lot of transport services, are you actually buying express transport where you want something perhaps delivered the same day when in fact general transport, maybe next day delivery would suffice? I see that with a lot of businesses. They're actually buying a transport service that is way um, too good, if you like. It's too rapid a service. So have a look at that. I'm just watching out to see if there's any B-doubles coming. The other thing... <clears throat> The other thing to be conscious of when you're buying transport services is the rate structure. And I don't mean by that how many dollars per tonne you pay or how many, how many dollars per pallet. So I'm intrigued with all the different types of product that are going past. What I'm talking about is the rate structure. So are you paying per truckload? Are you paying per pallet? Are you paying per delivery? Is that a B-double? Yep. Perhaps behind the camera just say, here comes a B-double. That was livestock, I think. Point out another one that's coming. Um, so are you actually paying the right type of rate structure? So for example, there's a B-double on the other side. If, um, if I'm paying for transport going from Melbourne to Sydney, and I'm moving a lot of products, I probably want to pay by the truckload. Um, and that's, that's going to be uh, a good way to pay for it because I'm actually I'm actually getting a truckload of product moved. It wouldn't necessarily make a lot of sense. Uh, it definitely wouldn't make sense, for example, to be paying by the hour, because there's no incentive there for the, for the truck company to deliver efficiently and on time. So always watch out for that one. For more local deliveries, it might be more appropriate if I'm paying per carton or per pallet or per delivery. So two key things to think about. What type of transport service are you paying for? That was another B-double. What type of transport service are you paying for? Am I paying for general transport, express transport? Am I paying for the right service level? And how, how am I paying for the, uh, the transport in terms of the rate structure? Not the dollars per unit or whatever, but the rate structure. So have a look at those two things in your own business, and maybe you're actually overpaying for your transport.